Hi everyone, my name is Tamara. Welcome to Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I am not a professional anything except professional artist. Um, but I've figured out for stuff at the house that there's a lot of things I can do in the house, around the yard, on my cars, and anywhere else that you'll give me to work that can usually save me quite a bit of money. So hopefully you'll benefit from my knowledge and you will save money too. So today we're going to be looking at doors and this is just one of many door videos that I will be making to share, you, to share the things that I've learned with you in little bitty pieces. So we will be adjusting hinges today. So whenever I moved into this house, I believe every door in this house stuck, which is really terrible. So like whenever you would try to exit the house, you'd have to kick the door to get it open, which uh, that's just, it's not fun. It's not fun for anybody. Not fun for the house, not fun for the doors, not fun for me. And a lot of these doors, actually, I think every door in this house is a French door, which means that instead of just dealing with one door in a frame, you're dealing with two. And so they basically were hanging like this and you'd try to open one and it would hang and stick on the other one. So blah, terrible. So in an old house or when you have old doors or maybe not even that old of doors, if they're hanging kind of wonky or they're sticking, the first thing that you can do, which is what we're addressing today, is you can work on the hinges a bit. So the stuff that you'll need today is pretty minimal. You will need a drill with about a 7 64th inch drill bit. You will need a driver. Now if you don't have a separate driver from your drill, that's fine. Just make sure that you have a screwdriver bit to put in the end of your drill because a plain old manual screwdriver is not going to do the job today. You will also need two and a half or three inch wood screws. I know some people use drywall screws for this, but um, because doors are such high use objects and because I've had so much trouble with them, I would use a thicker, more serious screw. So one that's really meant for wood. The last thing you may or may not want is a level. I'm gonna be honest, living in an old house, I've learned that most things here are not level. So whenever I got my doors to where I could, I could not tell by looking at them that they were not level, but I could tell with a level that they're like one one hundredth of an inch off. You know what? I called that good because they worked well. So this, this is uh, neither here nor there. No judgment. So the first thing that you'll want to do on your old doors and or hinges is you'll want to tighten up every single screw in these hinges. So that means however many sets, whether you have three or four sets of hinges, whatever, tighten them all up and don't forget to do both sides. So that should have actually helped quite a bit, tightening up those screws on all the hinges on your doors. It's amazing how much those suckers can back out over the years. Now, if that didn't quite get your doors all the way straight and where you want them to be, the next thing that you can do, and let me carry you over here so you can see what I'm talking about, is you can back out the little screw right there that's closest to the jam on the top hinge of your door because a lot of times, and I'm gonna try to talk to you while I do this, uh, the screws that come with the hinges are not very long. And that works initially. See that? That's only like an inch. But uh, over time, you definitely need a little more grab. So I'm gonna take my two and a half inch screw. Actually, first, I'm gonna drill down into this hole to make sure that uh, I don't split the wood and then I'm going to take my two and a half and you're going to take your two and a half or three inch screw and we're going to screw it into that hole that we just vacated. So now check that out and see what that did for your doors and I will show you my doors were really messed up so I actually pardon my hand there while I loosened you I actually wound up 
doing the same thing on the middle hinge too. And that just about got my doors fixed. So how are we doing? Are they getting better? I hope they're getting better at this point. If they're still not quite where you want them to be or need them to be, and at any time, by the way, you can stop and check their levelness with your level. Um, that can give you an idea of how much further you need to go because sometimes with old houses, whenever like say the top of my door frame, I happen to know it is very unlevel. So it was really tricking my eye whenever I was trying to fix these doors. So you may want to use your level to help, to help you get your uh, coordinates, I guess would be the right word. Um, anyway, that's just a reminder. But if you still aren't quite where you want to be with this, there's one last thing you can do. And this should just cinch it up and just make your doors. Um, so I know that you guys saw the gold screw down below my hinge. Um, that is an additional screw that is helping. Uh, so the door frame itself, this piece of wood that the door is hanging on, um, was actually leaning in a little bit. So I put two screws in it to help push it back and that picked the door up the rest of the way and in this case i did need the level because i i needed to know which of these two doors was the one that was still having the sticky problem so it let me know that i had the other door leveled this door was not level so you'll want to screw in somewhere in the top or in the area of the top of your door frame and you will want to pre-drill a hole, which my hole is already pre-drilled, so there we are. Um, and you want to make sure that you don't pop through on the other side and make a hole that you're going to have to deal with on the side that you don't want to. Um, in my case, there's plenty of wood here, so we're fine. Um, you could use probably a slightly shorter screw if you needed to, but you shouldn't need to. But make sure that, again, that you pre-drill so that you don't split your wood. Now, I already have my hole, so. So after you do that, hopefully, all that you should have to do now is just make some minor adjustments with the hinges. But now you know that in the future, you have your additional screws in the hinges. And these are great for adjusting the doors if you start to have a problem like if the weather gets more humid or dry or whatever because wooden doors especially are always going to be moving with the weather that's just what they do there's nothing to be done about it except try to make them where they have as much room to breathe and move as possible so how is that not too bad right and adjusting the hinges and tightening the hinges can make all the difference in frustrating sticky saggy doors so now you know how to do that and it's really not that bad and it actually took me way longer to make this video than it's going to take you to do your adjustments I promise so i really hope that helped and i appreciate you watching this video and joining me today and if you liked it and even if you didn't please subscribe anyways and I look forward to seeing you again soon. So long!